Yo, what's poppin'? We back with some more of it. And, um, it's a sad situation. Uh, a family of four was kidnapped. Uh, three adults and one infant. Um, it's just crazy. We do have video footage of the kidnapping uh, that we will show. Um, let's get into it. Check it out. So this here is the owner um, pulling up. We have the owner pulling up to his business. He just parked. Now he's getting out the car. Um, he goes to the back, pops the trunk of the van, and he lets his dog out. Now the dog will play a key part in this. This guy here walking up, I guess, is an employee. Um, his brother or his brother-in-law. He was also kidnapped. Um, so let's go. So the brother walks back into the business. Um, As we see there. Okay, so this is the owner checking the back of the business because he heard the dog bark, right? So, you see somebody walking past right there on the street outside the gate? Somebody's walking past. You can see them again right here as they pass the shed there um, so the dog was barking and he alerted the owner so that's why the owner came on and checked now here the person is walking past the front now so the owner as you will see will come out um, as you in the video it looked like he's on the phone now see the person walking by is close to the corner once they get to the corner like right now now the owner comes out so the owner comes out and he's on his phone as you can see here and he walked towards the front of the business towards the street and he walks back with a guy with a COVID mask on. Now this guy with the COVID mask. I don't know. If he pretended. He was a customer of some sort. But he walks up. Now the owner. At this time. Is not aware. Of what's about to go down. The guy turns. Looks at the camera. He got some bag. Like a. Garbage bag. Or some trash. Or something. I don't know. Um. So, at this time, the owner is still not aware. Now, right here, watch this. What he pulls out of his pocket? A pistol. Set the bag down. Continues to walk inside the business. Now, look at this. Back door open. He looks out. There's the gunman, there's the owner, and the brother. He walks both of them out. There's a different angle. He checks peeps around the corner, make sure nobody's out there to see him. And he walks to that van right there that you can see in the frame. Now, he walks, open the back door. He put both of the victims in the back seat. They are handcuffed. He closes the door. He walks around to the driver's side. Now, what he does next is shocking. He 
drives the truck closer to the back door. He then parks the truck, gets out, as you can see, and he's walking back into the business. He forgot something. dog is barking as you can see the dog is constantly barking and the man goes inside the business and what he comes out with sickening woman and a baby he then walks them to the truck put the woman and the baby in the back seat well it looked like she got in the front seat he gets back into the driver's seat And drives off. Hmm. This is a sad situation. Um, let's get into the news clip. Check it out. It was the worst possible outcome after a family of four was kidnapped in Merced County earlier this week. All four members have been found dead. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera is live in the newsroom and joins us with up to the minute details on this investigation. Tony. Philip Giovanna, right now, investigators are still trying to figure out a motive for the man who was taken into custody. They're also trying to determine if he had someone help him carry out the crime. Surveillance video from Monday shows the suspect, 48-year-old Manuel Salgado, with a gun, escorting the family from their business to the back of a truck. This is the last time the family was seen alive, their bodies later discovered by a farm worker. 36-year-old Jasdeep Singh, his 27-year-old wife, Jasleen Kaur, their eight-month-old daughter, Arohi, and the baby's uncle, Amandeep Singh, were first reported missing Monday after the uncle's truck was found on fire and relatives couldn't reach anybody. The Merced County Sheriff says that Salgado's own family turned him in, but that he tried to take his own life before law enforcement got involved. He's been getting medical treatment, which is why it's taken time to interview him. We're told he has a criminal history, including a home invasion from 2005. The sheriff thinks this was not random and that the suspect somehow knew the family by the way things went down. He thinks Salgado is responsible for a majority of the crime, but can't fathom how he was able to do it all by himself. The sheriff is not holding back his emotions either, saying the suspect has a special place in hell. He says they will define evil by this guy. While investigators work towards a motive, the district attorney's office will work on charges. Live in the newsroom, Tony Cabrera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Wow, um, I don't even know what to say. Um, that's crazy. Four people dead. Three adults, including the baby that you see here in the picture. Um, this guy that you saw on camera walks in there by himself. I think the owner, like they said, maybe he knew them. I don't know. Um, what would make him kill all four people? This is sad, man. Um, my condolences goes out to the family. Um, let me know what y'all think, man, in the comments. At this time, they're saying they're still trying to figure out a motive. Um, but this is crazy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. You already know it's Yada.TV. Hello. <laughs>